And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go here. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. Home run number 70 on the year. The Marlins on the board first. It's 1-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Oh, so much for settling into this game, Bird. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. This one smoked on its way out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His seventh home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. The throw to second is offline. That and with every the hit that extends his streak, he climbs higher on the all-time list. Rarely has anyone gone this far. Yeah, Boog, 30 is about as far as most guys can take it, and he's just blown by that mark, and now it actually looks like 40 might be in play. I'll tell you this, as a hitter, it's so hard to not let that weigh on you. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. His 61st home run of the season. It's 4 nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. That was quite the home run, Siggy, as we take it in again with StatCast, 114 miles an hour off the bat. Yeah, and plenty of distance, too. I mean, with that kind of exit velo, if you can get it up in the air with good backspin, it's going to be a tape measure shot. And up next for Miami, Nick Fortes. And a rope into center field, base hit. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't, and this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, Man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. So, man aboard, Nick Senzel. The next up for the Marlin. Calls it in, and there's one away. Man at first, and now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. That's a hit. Throw and it gets away.
Not sure Starting if too it. many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Siggy, but you. that extends Starting. his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't, and this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. Fourth on the National League home run leaderboard. And there's a rocket into the outfield. He's good. Batting on. So the bases are loaded here, one gone. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And that one wrapped foul. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to die, but he's got it. Throws from his knees. There's one. Back to first, double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the... And we're back. And on the mound today, John Means. What's the word on him? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Jeff McNeil now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Chisholm drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Brandon right. Nimmo in the box now. No balls and a strike. Yeah. And strike two. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Second inning set to go. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. The pitch. Jazz Chisholm Jr. That one ripped. Back there. And caught on the warning track. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way Lace down the line, could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The run comes in from second, it's 5-0. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Joey Lucchese is done, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Thomas. Bickford back to work. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone! Into the second deck it goes. His 56th home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 14-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that, Boog. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he now, the pitcher on here, Austin Adams. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. No question about this one. It's out of here. A 
another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 15-0. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one, and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So digging in, Jesus Sanchez. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Ripped to right, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable at the plate. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the number two hitter, Nicky Lopez. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. That one ripped right center field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run across. The relay. Save! He's in there. He's dead. And they extend their lead. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now here's the Marlins DH. Luis arrives. Three for threes, doubled twice, and single. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. A two-run shot, their third home run of the inning. And they tack on to their lead. It's 19 to nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Adam Adovino. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. And a foul ball. You know, these Marlins really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. And a base hit. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. The big six spot already on the board this inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ground ball could be two. Over to McNeil. Their second double play in just the first three innings here today. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Taylor Trammell, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. The Marlins up big in this one here in game one of this three game set. Hard hit left side. Throws the first. That'll end the inning after all. And Nine wins in a row. It's such a good feeling right now with this ball that no one wants to be the player that causes the team to lose. In fact, they're looking at ways. Each player, every day they come to the ballpark, how can I help us win today? This is a great feeling. It's like being in the playoffs when individual statistics don't matter. It's all about the team W. So this one got a little out of hand. 
for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi.